Here with us now is former NASA astronaut Jose Hernandez. Jose, welcome back. Let's talk about this. Good morning. At, good morning. At the agency level review, NASA Administrator Bill Nelson said this was the safe, safest option. Here's what he had to say just for our viewers. I'll talk to you on the other side. Space flight is risky, even at its safety, safest and even at its most routine. And a test flight by nature is neither safe nor routine. And so the decision to keep Butch and Sonny aboard the International Space Station and bring the Boeing Starliner home uncrewed is a result of a commitment to safety. So we know this is strictly for safety reasons, but can we take a step back here, Jose? Can you walk us through how we got from an eight-day mission to now what will last for eight months going into 2025? Uh, certainly. Uh, first of all, uh, let me emphasize that this is the first crewed mission, so it's a test flight. And this original eight-day mission, if everything would have went out, went without a hitch, they would have been home by now and everything would have been hunky-dory. However, since it's the first flight, uh, we had these helium leaks. We had these thrusters that overheated that caused some Teflon seals to overbulge and constrict propellant flow, which means the uh, degradation in performance of the, uh, of the thrusters. And that was just too much... Uh, of a risk because the thrusters have to be working flawlessly to position the capsule in an angle such that it comes in and is protected. It because if it comes too shallow, it could bounce off the atmosphere. If it comes too steep, it could uh, overheat and burn up. And so that's just a risk NASA did not want to take. I don't think the aerospace community uh, was at all surprised that this decision was made, with the exception of possibly Boeing. But uh, but I think it's the right decision. Okay, so we know SpaceX is stepping in to get these astronauts back to Earth. There's one complication. The Boeing flight suits are not compatible with the SpaceX flight suits. What needs to happen to ensure these two astronauts will make it home safely with that obstacle as well? Yes, well, I don't believe that they should come down without the uh, spacesuits because the spacesuits on themselves, it's an environment such that if you have a cabin depressurization, you will still be okay. So my suspicion is that they will probably on their resupply mission send some uh, some spacesuits that are compatible with SpaceX and they can come home in, uh, in February uh, on the uh, SpaceX Dragon capsule. Unfortunately, the uh, main competition of Boeing. Jose, I want to talk about these two astronauts. You've talked to us before. I know astronauts train physically and mentally for problems, just like this one. But can you talk to me about the concerns of consumables and health concerns now with two extra astronauts on board the station for an extra eight months? Okay. Well, first of all, um, the consumables are not an issue. The, the space station always has extra food and water for situations such as this if the crew needs to stay longer than uh they were originally scheduled for. Now they're adding two people to the crew, so that's something similar. And then we have resupply missions that brings the the the, uh, the, the food and water and clothing over, so that's not a problem. Um, now, what are they going to do for the next six months? Because they're going to be there for a total of eight months. Well, the uh, the International Space Station is a is a orbiting national laboratory. There's plenty of science to conduct. There's a lot more work than the original six. International Space Station astronauts uh, are there to do. So they're going to be a welcome site. They're going to be very busy. And so that's not an issue either. Now, the psychological effect, well, you know, these guys are strong. I mean, NASA selects folks that are mentally strong and they're professionals. So they'll come out of it with flying colors. Uh, but you also got to recognize that, yes, there is some level of disappointment because I'm sure both uh, Sonny and Bush had plans for the next month or the rest of the summer or for Thanksgiving or Christmas. So there is some level of disappointment, but these guys are trained professionals and uh, and they'll come through it uh, quite fine and we'll see them home on February. I wanted to ask you about the mental impact. Thank you so much for answering that question as well. Jose Hernandez, we appreciate your time. Thank you very much. And Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.